Hey guys, my name is Chris Evans, and today we are creating a Captain America doll cake. So when I created my Captain Marvel doll cake, somebody commented that she doesn't appear in a dress in either movie, Endgames or Captain Marvel. So if I'm gonna put her in a dress, then I need to put somebody else in a dress who was not in a dress. And I thought that was a fantastic idea, so that's why we're doing this. <laughs> Stars and stripes, you guys. Look at those stripes. They're flowing in the wind like crazy. I'm very proud of how simple this is and how impressive it actually came out. So let's get started. It's great this doll cake. We're gonna do all of the basics using my Wilton doll cake pan. Now I was deciding between Captain America, Thor, or Iron Man. I might do the other two, but Captain America has been my favorite Avenger since the beginning. But I love what Captain America stands for, and I just I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm just happy with how it ended for him. He finally got to dance. I want to give you like a brief review of what I thought of Endgames, but I no spoilers, so I'm gonna be very vague. When it comes up, and then they, and he's like, and you're, you're in the audience like, he did that, and then it's like, he did that too, and Nebula is like, my dad's not a liar, and they're like holding on to each other, and they're like, let me go, and you're like, who's gonna? And then it happens, and you're like, how did they fell? And then at the end, when the, and then he like walks through with his sister and his general, and you're just like, how? And then the, the falcon is like, and the big, and there's, oh. And then the magicians like part in the Red Sea, and then he turns it into like the burning bush, and you're just like, He's the, you see Iron Man, and he's with the, and they're like this, and the, wow, and then, oh god, it was such a good movie. Wow, that was a good movie. So after I finished doing the basics, I added on a large piece of white fondant to create the bottom of the doll cake. And then I just placed my Captain America doll in the middle. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna have to create a larger hole, a much larger hole to fit this doll in. It's not a doll, it's an action figure, and it's not as poseable or as like thin as like any of the Barbie dolls. So you're gonna have a little trouble if you don't make a big enough hole. Now I pushed all the fondant up against his waist and just added another band of white fondant to seal him in. Then using some fondant tools, I just scored the top of the fondant to add some sort of fabric-like texture. I love the decaled stripes on Captain America and I thought it'd be fun to just extend all of those stripes all the way down the bottom of the gown. So I'm just adding some red sail shaped pieces to the bottom of the dress. And I'm doing this at an angle so it looks like the fabric is moving. And I'm just going to fold the back of this forward to add some more movement. And then I'm going to score the top as well to match all of the texture underneath it. I'm going to repeat this process all the way around the cake, doing the exact same thing. Ooh, look at that. That's looking beautiful. Captain America, you strong as heck, but also you fabulous as heck as well. So this isn't the first time that I've created a doll cake with a male character. I did the exact same thing a few years back. I turned Prince Eric into a doll cake and yo, that was a pretty good one too. Dresses aren't just for women. Especially after watching the Met Gala, mm -mm. the gender lines have been cut. The world is changing and now it's just like, do whatever's comfortable for you and we will support you. Who Guess who has your back? This guy, I'm making a cake for you. Captain America's suit was a little too dark for me so I added a little bit of blue luster dust just to glamorize it up. Give him some bling at the top as well as at the bottom. I didn't figure actually should have come with this blue because it looks spectacular when I was painting it on. I'm adding a little bit of red luster dust with some magic sauce just to give the red some shine. Thought that the bottom of this dress was a little too plain. So I'm painting on some silver luster dust that I mix with some magic sauce as well. And voila, my Captain America doll cake was complete. Oh! That shield, man. 
That's the best accessory. Who needs a clutch when you got Captain America's shield? Now this wasn't the first Captain America dress I designed. I actually designed one that had like a blue bottom and then had more of like the blue chest detail with the stars, but it was too complex. I didn't like it after I stepped away from it for a while. The simplicity of the stripes looks bomb. I love the small amount of detail that I added to the bottom and I'm just I'm just very happy with it. Now I'm curious, who should I do next? Hello, did she say that? I think she said that. Uh, I love designing doll cakes because I just love designing gowns. Remember to let me know who you want me to do next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this inspired and made your day. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.